you probably follow some people that give you motivation, you know, how to, you know, change some aspects in your life, how to better your, your life, personal development, books, like I have a, a bombardment of books on the subject, okay? But let's, t let's talk about the physical three-dimensional reality that we're all facing here, okay? And that is our bodies and how it correlates with the mind, okay? So real quick, we're going to be talking about shrooms, not magic mushrooms. That might be saved for a later discussion, but for now, uh, we're going to talk about lion's mane mushrooms, okay? But hear me out. You're trying to, you know, lose weight. You're trying to gain confidence. You're trying to remember things for an exam or a certification at your work, right? And you want to find ways to do this, and you want to become more disciplined. You want to get up earlier, okay? That may help you in life, but there are some herbal supplements that might help you out. Now, I bring out lion's mane. This is a powder that you can apply to your morning coffee um, or a tea. It looks like that. Not very much taste if you put it with your coffee, um, a little cream and sugar. But what this does is it helps really enforce nerve health and neuroplasticity. So when you try to create a new habit, your brain, the brain cells, create new neuropathways. It acts like a bridge to a, and a bond. And once you keep doing that habit over, over and over again, that bond becomes stronger and stronger and the bonds for your old habits become weaker and weaker, okay? They still exist, but they're weaker and the new habits, neuroplasticity bonds, those neural pathways become stronger. Now, lion's made by drinking this, this mushroom powder really helps enforce creating those new bonds extremely strong. So, in... In retrospect, it can really like accelerate your new habit forming patterns. Okay. So whatever it is, you know, whatever you're trying to improve on yourself, this really helps. Not only that, but it has crazy amount of focus properties as well. Like you put this in your coffee, right? I use this is the coffee I use, another subject in the coffee. French press, that's what I use. Um, don't use the drip coffee. I use this and I use whole ass bean coffee, okay? You gotta get the whole one. The whole bean, you gotta grind it. You can grind it all at once if you want. It's not about the freshness, but it's about the realness. Because a lot of coffee brands out there, they're filling their coffee with not coffee. It's, like, it's fake coffee, dude. They're giving you fake coffee. It's not real. The, when you buy it ground, some of them are not real. 100% real. So you wanna really, I cannot stress this enough, make this change. Get yourself real coffee, grind that shit. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but you, at least you know you're getting the real deal. Use this, strain it out, put a teaspoon in your coffee, and then you're gonna reap the benefits. Now, when you're starting out, you're gonna wanna take the double the recommended amount. This says one teaspoon, you're gonna wanna take two, just so your mind can become acquainted with the effects. After a couple days of doing this, you can switch down to one. So in essence, this is technically 50 servings. This is about $26 or so at Whole Foods. Um, you can buy some cheaper ones on Amazon, but as long as you purchase the log grown fruit bodies on the, on the, on the label, it's gonna say where it's from. This is not the best quality, this own brand, because it has mycelium. What mycelium is, it's like a net of fungus, and they take parts of that net if you don't know how the shrooms grow, um, it, 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 it's pretty much a huge interweb of mushrooms. If you want to read more on this subject, I would get Super Brain, the book by Deepak Chopra. You might have heard of this dude. Uh, he's been coming really popular. He's got a bajillion followers. Um, you can, that's if you want to learn about neuroplasticity. Along with that, if you want to learn more about shrooms, you can get this book. It's called Healing Mushrooms. It's by Tiro. I, forget, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he's like a, I think he's he's like a Northern European. Um, you can get this book for free. I'll try to find the link. All you got to do is pay five dollars shipping. This is not mine. They don't sponsor me or anything. Um, but they give you like recipes on how you can make other mushroom stuff. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. I like it. It gives you a lot of background information on that matter. Try out lines, man. I mean, you have nothing to lose. I'm not a fucking doctor, obviously. <laughs> Do I have to say that? I'm not a doctor or anything, not a, not a nutritionist. This is just studying. If you're looking for more like body hacks, I would highly recommend getting this book. 
two uh it's called the four hour body by tim ferris you know who this dude is i don't know where you've been living how's the weather under here under your rock you know what i'm saying but it's pretty interesting dude like i should do another video just on this book it talks about how to hack your body you know you know that ketosis you know that whole the keto diet that's where this is where i first learned about this about like six or seven years ago um he had introduced the idea to me on uh the keto diet and he documents everything it tells you how to give a woman a, a 15 minute female orgasm there's pictures in here so i probably shouldn't uh, show you that i don't know how instagram algorithm works or something stuff but hey guys or girls gift each other christmas whatever holiday you celebrate it's an interesting read anyway that's all i have for now lion's mane check it out